great energy in the second half. Something click on for this team here? Yeah, you know what? We had a lot of new guys playing in the beginning of the game. They, they weren't used to this pace. You know, we practice hard, but you know, when it's a game time and lights, you know, they get a, they, they, they shy away from it a little bit. So pretty good crowd for a Tuesday night here coming out here. Uh, you know what? It's always good around Christmas time. There's not much to do this time, so I'm glad everybody showed up. Yeah. What, what would you say to uh, Charger fans who are, who are looking to see maybe some playoff caliber uh, sports teams here in San Diego? I say come on out and enjoy this uh, atmosphere. It's a great, great venue. Uh, what, what, yeah, was there a player injury going into the half? I actually showed up a little late. What, what happened? Oh there? yeah, Medina got um, got a couple stitches on his nose, one on his eyelid, on his eyelid, that eyelid, and one to blow it. Did, was that a catalyst that sparked that energy in the second half at all? No, you know what? We made some changes in the locker room, and uh, we went more well, well through with our experienced guys. And was there a little nervous coming out of that that first half, or you know, it's a little too close for comfort for this opening round of this uh, Open Cup? No, uh, we're not used to teams playing us a little physical like that, so it was good. All right. Scott, even part of this formula this championship formula. Is this team starting to play more like a team as the season is progressing instead of individuals? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, we're kind of starting to get our groove back. I don't know what, what happened, but it's taken us a little while this season to really start playing and pinging the ball around. But I wouldn't say tonight was our best performance, but we, you know, we turned it around in the second half and gave the fans a couple goals to celebrate. But were you playing at maybe a, a higher intensity in the second half than that has been there for maybe the rest of the season, at least for two straight quarters? Um, we definitely picked it up second half. I mean, Phil kind of gave us the business at halftime and put it to us, and I think we responded pretty well. Their keeper had a great game, or, you know, we could have stuck at least four or five more away. So I'll give it up for their keeper. It sure. would, you had an injury on the team going into the, into the halftime. That at all motivate the players seeing one of your guys is bloodied up there in the, in the locker room? Yeah, I think so, definitely. I mean, you see one of your guys go down, you get fired up, you know, gets the adrenaline pumping in everyone, and kind of just helps raise the energy level, which is, I think, what happened in the second half. All right, so uh, what do you see going forward with this team as, as it starts to really click and gel together? getting back towards that form they were at the end of the season when they won the championship. Right, right. Well, you know, we were missing a couple of our, you know, big starters tonight. I mean, Brian Farber wasn't here. Aaron Susie, our captain, wasn't playing. So, I mean, I think we did all right in getting those guys back. You know, we clicked a little bit more. And I think, you know, I think we're going to go all the way, definitely. But, and one last, what about your Zoli? Uh, to setting up, jumping in here. Seems like he's done that over and over again when Riley isn't available, that he steps up and doesn't miss a, miss a beat. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chris is the man. You know, he's just biding his time for Riley to retire so that he can take the reins. And You know, I mean, he'd, he'd be, you know, starter, you know, best, second best keeper in the league, maybe anywhere else. So hats off to him. I think every time he plays, he keeps his goals against average to around like three goals. So <laughs> got to give it up for Chris. Hey, Scotty, thanks, you, man. Congratulations on the 6-0 start. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, man.